order, please. We'll start by the pledge. <coughs> Mr. Perry, will you lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, uh, do we have any, obviously there's no one signed in, I, can, I don't see any new faces. I'll surprise you some week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean, uh, Sean does it, I will. Okay, we'll move to the administrative section then. Motion. Okay, Mr. Gary McAuliffe. I'll second Mr. Gary. Then not. Okay, Trish. Okay, we have um, one item, item A, approval to post one additional teacher uh, position for the 2012-2013 school year due to student overage at Midway Elementary. Um, is, you, is this going to be in a, a separate classroom or is this going to be within the existing classroom? It's separate. There is a ring. Yes. I've heard before that they didn't think it was a ring. That's good. You say so, Mr. Kate. That's what I like. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else have anything else? Just out of curiosity, what grade is it? It's kindergarten. Oh, it is. No other questions or anything. Call the question. All those in favor, please. Yes, 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 please. Opposed? <laughs> okay, finance. Okay, I'll only get five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's Friday night. You only give it the same one I had. Okay, just, you know, I got it just a little bit. I can't just say here it is. I think you know, it's my DVD in for you a little bit. All right, this is the actual financial document that has to be submitted to the uh, State Department. This is what gets audited. And um, these reports. Okay, now what we have before us, so what you're giving us, is this for the past year that it just ended? Mm -hmm. in, yes. In June. Yes. Okay. This is June. Okay. Um, so just lay that to the side for a minute, and then we'll come back to that. Um, I gave you a list of vendor payments of less than two fifty and the over two fifty. And those are just things you know you want to see. Who we're pay making payments to, you have access to those. Okay. And when you say vendor payments, mm -hmm. the, what other expenditures would there be aside from this? Too? You would have uh, payroll withholding deductions. Those will be on there also, Steve, on this list. This is anybody that we pay over $250 to. Well, that's so what I'm any saying. Any check that's written over $250 is going to be on this list. If it's under 250, it's going to be on this list. Well, that's what I'm trying to. Is there are there any other expenditures that the board makes that aren't on either one of these? Would um, there be something that like payroll is all payroll contained in here? Like oh no 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 payroll no payroll, no payroll, okay, so payroll, so payroll pay, just payroll deductions. Okay, so all payroll is excluded from here. Yes, the salaries. The right. Pension. Okay. So okay. Uh, aside from payroll, though, would everything else be shown on one of these or the other? Yeah, I mean, it would just, I was trying to think if there would be anything. Um, you know, there would be some end of the year journal entries, just, you know, accounting procedures that we have to do. You know, some things like that would not be on here, like the OPEB transactions. Those are not going to be on here because they're not a cash item. It's journal entry items. So those would not be on here. And it would be things like that, Steve, that wouldn't be on here. It would be journal entries. Ending the year. So the figure on here is cumulative for the year. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And if you look real hard, you probably find your name on one of them. <laughs> on the over 250. <coughs> Just barely. Just barely, yes. 
Then the other thing that I gave you guys is, uh, and I'll get yours, Carol. This is uh, wages, and I think it's important for you guys to know, you know, what people are making. You're signing all plans, you know, approving all the contracts. Um, no, I just I'm purely being nosy. That's yeah. So that's for information. In combination, we'd have all the expenditures. If we took all the vendors of these two categories and then the payroll on this, then that would be pretty much. Yeah, your own heads. This is inclusive of uh, our utilities, our uh, what we pay for transportation costs, uh, all of this. Yes, yeah. Okay, then the other item, item is informational. This is what's going on in your schools. So if you want to know how much money, let me just kind of give you an, an example, and this is a new format this year. Uh, so let's look at Lincoln County High. That's going to be on the last page near the bottom. And, you know, over here we have categories like unrestricted general, uh, that's their office account, so they would have um, $1,860. Athletics, they have $35,000. Faculty Senate, $35,000. Classes, $22,000. See how that works. And that's just for your information. If you have questions, the information is readily available to you. Okay. Now, what about monies, like at the high school, the, the different accounts they have? Mm -hmm. are other monies aside from what we may be generated to explain down here at the board's office, are other activities that they, other accounts they have, are they shown within these or are they separate? Yes, they're, everything that the school has are within they're those categories. In they're in, yeah, like grouped together, like in the classes groups do. <coughs> like you know, in athletics, for yeah, instance. Yeah, football, basketball, they soccer. bring in receipts and whatever, it's mm -hmm. all in mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Yeah, and the schools get audited. Well, they don't get audited. They it's a agreed upon procedures, but the, one of the uh, uh, the CPAs do go out and review the records and get them reports, and that's and we're getting we the corrective recently. actions. Yeah, that's what we yes, saw. Yes, uh -huh. yes, right. we saw those. Uh -huh. Are uh, the excess levy dollars included in here? Uh, no, no, because yeah. it cannot be transmitted to the schools. It has to be spent here at the board office. Okay, so you did not allocate that within. Yes, it doesn't go to the school, it stays here. Okay. But would those excess expenditures be shown in the Yes, leads? yes. Mm -hmm. The only money that can go out to the schools is the faculty senate. And then so you'll see a faculty senate balance in your school funds. Now that's the check that we actually send them. And that's through the state aid formula. So, so the excess levy dollars that belongs to each one of the schools, they get a uh, dollar amount. Mm -hmm given to them, they know what they have and they can uh, requisition things against yes. that. Yes. But that has to go through. Yes. Okay. Now what, what do you have? Do you have something that we have, don't have now? Oh, that's just the school allocation. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Just balance and the, that's what was left over at the end of the school year. And it just carries over into this year. That's right. So add more to it. Of course, you can see what their beginning balance was, what they took in, their payments, their ending balances. Okay, good. And I and please ask questions because you know usually you don't get to. So this is the top. Um, I don't. Well, I don't really know where to start. Well, I wanted to ask. Uh, question. Okay. On this um, spreadsheet mm -hmm. for the schools, <clears throat> the the balance. Uh, where does that come from? Where where do the revenues come from for those for um, those schools? The schools. Well, let's take um, like Duval. Uh, their office account. Um, they get commissions from their vending machines or um, the faculty senate may give them a little bit of their faculty senate money. Um, I don't know what else they do, but that would be 
just strictly for the office account that they could spend for any reason at the school. What's that? What's the county cut? What is that? For just our, our school, school code. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And then the, the school code is mm -hmm. that location code. Okay. I just want to, in case anybody, I'll ask these questions. Okay. Yes. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> in case, yeah. <laughs> Um, but, but I'm just curious because you have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines for Duval uh, beginning balance. So, and, and the first one being unrestricted general, and you said that would office. come from that's our office account. Okay, and the athletics is that coming from ticket sales or mm -hmm. at their games? Mm -hmm. This is money that they're generating from. And it could be a fundraiser that they would have for their particular sport, could okay. be something like that. Um, it could be some concessions that they have that they get for their sports. And the beginning balance just means it's what they started with. Yeah, July 1 of, of 2011, semester. that's what they started with. And they ended with what you have there, I think. <clears throat> and the, uh, what about the classes? What does that mean? The classes, that would be like at the, Say the fifth grade was collecting money to go on a trip, or um, you know they were going to do um, having a fundraiser for a book fair for a specific class. That's for specific classes. Okay, and the uh, child nutrition. That's our food service program. That's any money that they would collect out into schools. So that should always start with a zero and should always end with a zero. What about the other restricted? The other restricted would be something that doesn't fall into a class or athletics or faculty senate. Um, just trying to think of something. Um, like some of them had some little mini grants that they had gone um, I was trying to think, been through all this stuff. Would, um, would it be uh, money that would come in, uh, like the old uh, digest money or something that would come into that particular school? It could be, yes, that would be something. It would be, that would be an other that restricted. That would be an other restricted, yes. Like, uh, they might get $10,000 for <coughs> softball yeah. and for Lincoln County High School. That would be in. Like the Lincoln County uh, Friends. <laughs> That would that would have went into the in fact that is in the other restricted for Lincoln County High. I think there's a James K. Roberts scholarship fund over to Lincoln County High. So those are other restricted. And then the next group, the school support organizations, that's just <coughs> PTAs, PTOs, and boosters would be in that category. Okay. And these are individual um, accounts for each of each school schools. And they are they expend out of that line item for <clears throat> their school. Okay, is that right? Mm -hmm. okay. You did say the excess levy, that you know the excess levy money in this yeah. report here. Because yeah. it, it, it's restricted and it has to stay here, but they know yes. each school gets uh, allocation. She gives each school a copy like this, so they know how much money that they have we update that, you know, monthly. We update and let them know what their balances are. Now, where, where did we see the money that uh, extra money we gave this year? Uh, what, what, well, you won't. You it won't sign over. Won't sit on that. No, no, it, 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 it comes through us, so it would be it'll be in all my financial records. Oh, no, you're talking about the extra student activity money. Right, yeah. Uh, well, Trish, do you have 2013 allocations? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I bumped it up to, um, I bumped it up to 80,000 or I went up to 100,000, I can't recall. Student activity for Lincoln County High School, it went, went up to 30,000. What's the total for the whole? For, for all Lincoln of them. County? For all of them. All of them. Uh, 100, $1,817.14. So, uh, just for the student activities, student that's activity student, their little trips, their little yeah. clubs. Mm -hmm. Okay. On this payroll, mm -hmm. is that just their salary that don't include their benefits? Correct. Correct. Salary only. What about those that have extra? 
duties? Uh, I believe it's in those totals that, that should be the total wages paid to those people. Right. Coaches' salaries, you think, would be included in there? Should be. Should be all wages. salaries last year and then um, the total non-salary expenditures was 22.6 million over the 250 under the 250 was 29,000 uh, so the total expenditures was 45 million last year and then on the next page is signatures this is uh, so go to page four and I think I can give you everything that you need to know in this, almost this one page. And this is called the MDNA, MDNA and this is a new requirement uh, when we went to Gasby County. And it's management, discussion, and analysis. And I'm going to just read to you a little bit, so just bear with me. 